All right, so we just finished a very interesting episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 71. Very good, very, very impressed by it. Now, of course, they did leave us on quite the big cliffhanger with Goku's apparent death at the hands of Hit, Hito, as, <laughs> as they say in the show. But looking at the preview here, uh, <laughs> I love it because it's, it's narrated by Gohan and you hear some shots of Goten talking and they're like, oh, I can't believe father was killed. You know, it's not the first time, but it's still a shock. How were they able to kill him? How, how, how is, is father dead? And meanwhile, it's interlaced with a whole bunch of shots of, we see Goku fighting hit. So, um, I did see some spoilers as to why. Goku obviously is able to fight Hit in the next episode, but I don't know if this is really the best place to talk about that, but, you know, obviously the fact that Goku tossed out that energy blast just before, you know, taking the fatal damage from Hit's shockwave will definitely come into play. Now, I'm not one to ever really harp on the animation, you know, everyone did it after the infamous episode 5, how could you not? It was... Very, very disgraceful. I mean, Dragon Ball is not like some small little bitch show. Like, this is, you know, the king of shonen anime, essentially. I mean, I don't know if technically One Piece has taken up that mantle for sure, but at the very least, Dragon Ball is number two, only behind One Piece. And I gotta say, Toei just... You can tell that there's... it. it, it this Dragon Ball doesn't seem like they're in love with making it. This is not a passion project from the animators at Toei. That's for damn sure. Because there's... The very well-drawn episodes have been few and far between. And the next episode in particular... You know, these shots... These are not great. This is actually on the level of episode 5. Now... I mean... It looks as though it's... There's not a lot of detail in these animations because it seems like there's going to be a lot of fluidity in the movements of this episode, which I do understand. But there, you can make it look good. I, the best case I can ever point to, obviously many people loved uh, that one fight. I believe it was episode 57 of Dragon Ball Super when Goku and Trunks were fighting uh, Goku Black and Zamasu. And, you know, the animation is not really... Like, there's not as many details on the character, but just, like, the animation itself is just gorgeous, breathtaking, the fast movements, like, just everything is meshing very well, and, you know, to get that level of movement and stuff, you do have to sacrifice just a little bit of detail, I got that. Or even, think about maybe the best episode in all of Naruto, honestly, I still, I still see there's, Naruto gets so much hate, so even bringing it up, it's like, oh no, Naruto, but... The episode where Kakashi is fighting Obito, like, it's obviously the detail is not as high because of the, you know, the fluidity move, like, the fast motion, the fighting, and the combat. But just, like, the the way the characters are moving is just so good, so beautiful. It makes for these great, great, great fight scenes. Now, I think that's what they're going for in uh, episode 72 here. But it just, it looks way, way too bad. I mean, there's a lot of hype right now with the Universal Survival arc. And, like, they're going to follow up this hype by putting up an episode that looks this bad. Now, I know I am one who has said in the past, I don't really care how these Slice of Life episodes are drawn. As long as the good shit is drawn, you know, very well. Which I did say, but now I'm getting to the point where it's like, to me, the Slice of Life episodes are better than the main plot, so I almost would like to see these ones well animated. But, if this episode is going to be very, very badly animated, and then the Universal Survival Arc does actually turn out to be awesome, and, you know, they're saving all of their good key animators for, like, that, then I, I am definitely okay with the next episode, you know, looking how it looks. And, you know, we do see, it seems like there is a lot of movement going on, Goku rushing hit, you know, they're definitely fighting in the next episode. And uh, we also do see, it looks like Hit is using his time skip, which is pretty interesting. But we also see, you know, based on a, a scene here where Hit is acting like super surprised in his time skip. So one of two things is probably going to happen here. 
and that's Goku is going to, you know, somehow surprise hit. Maybe we'll see the Kaioken, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Hey, that would be pretty dope, because after all, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken is going to be releasing on a Global Dokkan Battle right around the same time this episode is going up. So that would be fucking sick to summon and try and get Kaioken Blue Goku, and then he shows up in that episode. That would be dope. But... They also do show us a shot of Beerus, a really horribly animated shot of Beerus. I mean, I just, I can't run from it. I do have to acknowledge it, but it, it's possible Beerus might step in and uh, protect Goku or something. Normally, I wouldn't think he'd do that, but Beerus clearly is very interested in protecting his golden boy, Goku, you know, because he doesn't want Zenosama to be mad. And obviously, you know, we all now are very well aware of how uh, Zenosama, you know, thinks of Goku and that. So I, I could definitely see Beerus stepping in and kind of resolving this conflict. I don't think anything will happen to Hit or Goku moving forward from this. Because I think both Hit and Goku will be present and they will be competing in the Universal Survival arc. Man, this episode, you know, 71 was so good, but I, I am a little nervous about episode 72. You know, we'll see, we'll see. You know, don't put the pitchforks and the flaming torches down. Let's watch the episode before we go nuts about the animation. <laughs> 